Yo, what is going on YouTube? This is the Big K Cop360 here, and of course, with Intel's Broadwell uh, series of CPUs coming out reasonably soon. In fact, PC Case Gear, the Australian uh, computer website, already is selling our Broadwell series CPUs, which is not right. I'm pretty sure in just a matter of time they're going to get screwed up from Intel. Uh, well, regardless of that, news on Intel's upcoming 2015. Uh, performance of CPUs or just 2015 uh, brand of CPUs Intel Skylake that new architecture has been leaked or not really leaked but the roadmap for it uh, which is apparently legitimate and I assume it's legitimate because it looks legitimate the roadmap and everything uh, relating to that uh, architecture the Skylake architecture has been leaked I'll bring up the uh, the roadmap right now so as you can see there's going to be four main SKUs of uh, Skylake you're going to have you know your typical um, land grid array uh, CPU so the ones that you put in desktops you're going to have the ones for the ultra books the tablets all in one computers all that kind of stuff I'm sure you guys know that you know a laptop CPU is different from a desktop CPU, you know, they're not backwards compatible, all that stuff. It's just common sense. So yeah, we can see that in the very first um very first tab kind of thing, you know, where it says process and graphics. You can see 2014 and 2015 and the differences. Um, you know, continuing on, we're obviously gonna be on a new chipset. So we're moving on from the eight and nine series chipset to the hundred series chipset. So it's something completely different. Obviously, with a new architecture, you're gonna see a different chipset. That's just common sense. Um well, it's common sense for people that, you know, have background knowledge. Um, obviously, with a new chipset and, and new motherboards and all that stuff, you're obviously going to see improved Wi-Fi and all, you know, it's just, it's obvious. It's things you're obviously going to see with a new uh, architectural change. And then we've got Alpine Ridge Thunderbolt, which runs at 40 gigabits a second. 40 gigabits a second, that is crazy. Alpine Ridge Thunderbolt, that is really, really good. And of course, you're gonna have Im uh, improved the LAN, local area network connectivity. So, uh, carrying on, it appears that uh, Skylake will be the first consumer grade uh, this architecture to have DDR4 support, which is great, it's epic. Now, obviously, at the at the inception of DDR4 and at the inception of everyone starting to buy it uh, in terms of consumers, it's going to be really expensive. I mean, DDR4 is not going to be worth it for a very, well, not a very long time, but for a reasonable amount of time. For now, DDR3 is the thing. It's going to be the thing for maybe one or two years uh, passing by. I mean, just... It's sure DDR4 it's great you have power savings and all that stuff but it truly it's nowhere near worth the price premium just yet and with news that DDR4 will you know start releasing properly for consumers at the end of this year even though that's going to be happening uh it's just not going to be worth it just yet and to be honest by the end of this year we don't even know if Skylake will be out then um it might be out next year or could be out really late this year, no one knows just of yet. Uh, another th interesting thing about the Skylake architecture is that it will be on the 14 nanometer process. Now you guys know, obviously, when Intel makes a very, like, a, a big generational leap or uh, a considerable change in the architecture that will go down uh, in the process node. So they've went, I think Broadwell and Haswell was like 20 or 22 maybe 18 animators, you know, one of them, I don't know it off the top of my head, but uh, anyway, regardless, they're going down to 14 animators. At the moment, with AMD's FX series, which, mind you, did come out two years ago, that was on 32 nanometers. I believe um, the APUs are on 28 or 22, one of them, or maybe they're still on 32. Uh, I'm not 100% sure, but uh, the, the point I'm trying to make is that AMD is currently behind in producing smaller uh, processing nodes. So hopefully, you know, with the talk of AMD's new high performance x86 core coming out next year, I don't know, hopefully something great happens. Hopefully AMD and Intel start competing at a much better and more high performance level. Because at the moment, Intel is just like, meh. They're just sitting there, just waiting, doing the normal thing. And hopefully AMD comes out with a bang and you know, hopefully the CPU scene just increases, gets better, gets more oomphy, 
Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. This is pretty much just a video talking to you guys about, you know, the new Scarlet Architecture, and I hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned for more, and I'll see you guys later.